Well, they've been protesting for months. Youth and community groups who oppose Mayor Rahm Emanuel's plans for a new $95 million police academy. Tonight, they have a surprising ally, former police superintendent and mayoral candidate Gary McCarthy. We get more from CBS2 political reporter Derek Blakely. Our training academy in my book was adequate for what we had at the time, and I could certainly find better places to spend $95 million. That's former police superintendent Gary McCarthy essentially supporting the No Cop Academy demonstrators. They've repeatedly protested at City Hall, claiming the training academy is money wasted. We need social services and schools on the south and the west side, and we have to stop the exodus from the city. That's not going to do that. That shouldn't be part of the plan because there's other priorities to absolutely exist. But Mayor Emanuel countered today that the academy was a prime focus in a highly critical federal report on Chicago policing. The Obama Justice Department in their review made this a uh, priority. Otherwise, they wouldn't put it in because the nine facilities that are spread throughout the city are antiquated. McCarthy also criticized the city's handling of rampaging teens who fought with each other and passersby along Michigan Avenue during the Memorial Day weekend. Police said they redirected the teens back to the CTA to get them out of the loop. So what was the mistake that authorities made on Memorial Day weekend? They, there should have been more arrests. Anybody engaging in that type of behavior should have been arrested. So they're going to do it again. They didn't learn a lesson because they weren't arrested. Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson said there were about 15 arrests over that Memorial Day weekend, adding that police didn't want to arrest kids indiscriminately. And he said cops are in a no-win situation, criticized when they make large-scale arrests and when they don't. But Rob, back on that police academy issue, they say politics makes strange bedfellows. This is definitely one example. No doubt about it when you have the former police superintendent, mayoral candidate, saying what he just said to you. Yeah, siding right. with the No Cop Academy protesters. All right. Thanks, Derek.